And time is money. In wealth management, one rarely has the luxury of waiting for hindsight. So we've decided to look forwards. Lord Turner pointed us to a future where historically low interest rates would enable us to continue living on borrowed time. I have been convinced right from 2009 that interest rates would stay lower for longer than uh, most of my colleagues and most of the market thought. But even when those interest rates go up, my worry is more about the fact that it's just going to take us many years to crawl out of this debt overhang and that that might be many years of subpar growth uh, and very low uh, inflation. Uh, the debt overhang is a big problem for the UK uh, and other developed markets. So uh, I think it's going to be a slow recovery and that means you have to focus on those areas where there is growth um, where the government is pumping money in, for example, the house builders. Maybe markets aren't going to increase as well as they did last year, but they should gradually increase, particularly if the corporate sector starts to spend money. Charlie Parker brought us firmly back to the present, honing in on the topic of the time with an in-depth discussion on fund pricing. Smaller managers just can't get to this sort of magic 100 million pounds mark. Um, so it seems to me there's a, there's a, a, a huge yeah. degree of polarisation there. I think we've got to be careful here. If it's a race to the bottom, we're not going to get quality product and there's a house with no product. I need quality providers. I have never chosen a fund based on five or ten basis points. And if one of my analysts comes to me and says, I can't choose between fund A and fund B, <coughs> but fund B is 10 basis points cheaper, I will say, you <coughs> haven't done your job well enough. Mm. Why don't we consolidate the unit classes now? And why don't asset management groups do that for us and save everybody a whole lot of aggro in the process by just moving from 1.5% to 0.75%? Anytime you have a good manager, a good partner, that is value. Time can also be a matter of life and death. No one knows this better than mountaineer Joe Simpson. And I suddenly thought, this is going to kill me. So I thought, the only thing you could do is like that crevasse over there. I'm going to get there in 20 minutes. And you'd crawl towards it. And that watch saved my life. Because it gave me a sort of structure. It gave me something I could actually challenge myself with. Because the big picture of being in this mountains with no food, no water, badly injured, frostbitten. It was so overwhelming, I'd have just given up, but I could do 20 minutes. As darkness fell, we celebrated the men of the moment. And I noticed there were Scots here. I saw the, uh, do you think you're gonna separate the Scots? I hope you do, I just want to see you clamoring over that little wall like Mexicans. Although the wealth management industry is in a period of flux, the age of pessimism is over and it's time to be optimistic. Congratulations to this year's winners. We'll see you again next year.